Hi guys, it's Dr. Pryor and I am making this video today. So what it's about is going to be my skincare routine. So here we go. Lately I've been a little discouraged because my channel has been like flatlined at 36 subscribers and so I've been kind of doing a little research and so this morning I was looking at Dr. Mike's website and basically Dr. Mike is a very popular YouTube doctor. I only know about him because my nephew is subscribed to him and that guy has like 7 million subscribers. And so I went over there and his channel relies heavily on his sex appeal. The man is a 32 year old man and basically, you know, attractive man. But the top two uh, videos on the channel that had, you know, many views, like millions, was Do you want to go to bed with Dr. Mike? And small print and said nighttime ru skin routine. And then he had my skin routine on and the morning skin routine on and these had like millions of views and I was floored but he's an attractive man so I guess people want to look like the attractive man so I'm not wearing any makeup except a little mascara and I was sitting here doing the research and reading on my Kindle when an engineer came driving by and the engineer uh, rolled down his window and he said, I have an appointment at a house down the street, but your appointment's for two. I would like to uh, come earlier if that's possible. Well, I told him, I'm not the homeowner. I can't decide that. You'll have to get a hold of the homeowner. And he goes, oh, I thought you might be the homeowner's daughter. Wow, I look like someone's daughter. Yeah. So I thought that I was like, okay, whatever. But that was just so ironic because I was just, you know, looking at Dr. Mike's videos that were the most popular. And that got me thinking, since I've been here in Texas, I've been mistaken for tw my 20s many, many times. And so what am I starting to think? I must have fairly good looking skin. <laughs> So you might want to know what my skincare routine is. So that's why I decided to make the video. So basically, the number one thing I would like to tell you is your diet. What you eat is really going to play a role in your skin. And your internal health and especially your gut health is going to determine how your skin is. If you have acne, if you have different kind of like psoriasis and stuff, that is a telltale sign that your gut is messed up and you need to see a naturopathic doctor. We're the only ones and, um, you know, that really understand the connection between your gut and your skin. Now, what do I do? I actually had a class in school that was called environmental medicine and what I learned was shocking and it just made me sick to my stomach and so I got rid of all my personal care items and I simplified my care so much. So I don't even really use an SPF and when I do it's zinc based ones. I did a whole video on sun care, so go over there and watch that. But I wear a big brimmed hat around in the summertime. That helps immensely with the skin because UV does damage skin and ages it. But yeah, that's all. And I don't ever wash my face with a product. I actually use this little cloth it's called a makeup cloth and it's a Norwex product which has silver in it and my sister-in-law she sells these so if anyone is interested in buying a makeup cloth you know contact me I'll get you in contact with her so you can purchase these Norwex makeup cloths they're fantastic you can see that's my mascara coming off my face and that I wash with 
morning and night and it's important to wash your face at night because you are everything you do during the day you're getting environmental toxins and if you live in a city those toxins are getting on you and they cause oxidative damage and damage your skin so that is the purpose why I use two other products and that's it so the first product I use is called um, it's this vitamin E skin organics and it has organic jojoba oil and rose hip seed oil so let me just talk about these so vitamin E is a vitamin that sits in the lipid membranes and it reacts to oxidative stress and makes it neutral. Okay, so vitamin E is super important for good lipid, um, so for good skin care, okay? And then jojoba oil has a lot of fatty acids that are in your skin, similar, so it absorbs very well and matches your skin neutrality very well. So jojoba oil is very good. And then you have rose hip seed oil, which is high in vitamin C and other ascorbic acid. And it is just great all around this product for my skin. Okay, especially because I'm a Vata, which we have, we tend to have dry skin and dry, um, you know, body and joints and stuff. Okay, next product I use, and I use this morning. This goes morning and night. Okay, so in morning I use this. And what is it called? It's called Avalon Organics, and it's called Intense Defense with Vitamin C. And what it says, it's got antioxidant oil features a blend of apricot, raspberry, and argan oil. So argan oil is another one of these very good oils for your skin. So yeah, that's great. And then you have raspberry and apricot, which are the sources of vitamin C in this um, product. And what is vitamin C? It is ascorbate or ascorbic acid depending on what it's um, reduced or not and it is a very antioxidant um, powerful antioxidant and it works on the outside of a cell to react to reactive oxygen species and keep the cell membrane safe so this is what I use for the daytime because I go around and there's air pollution and I don't want the air pollution reacting with my skin causing these reactive oxygen species. And that's literally all I do. I have been using this oil for two years. I added this to my routine just about five months ago, but that's it never put anything else on and yeah i'm in my late 30s no makeup not bad right but anyways if you have any questions and you want to know just write me down in the comments let me know what kind of products you use and i'll tell you if i agree or not agree and yeah if you could like this and subscribe and if you do subscribe that will encourage me i'll make more videos like this maybe people just want to know a little more about what i do um so let me know okay and i love you guys and have a good evening okay